In this video, I'm going to share seven very important tips that I really, really wish someone told me before my first winter with a Tesla. From mastering your Tesla's unique features to two bonus tips in the end that will save you a couple of bucks. By the end of this video, you will have learned to master winter with your Tesla, ensuring a smooth and hassle-free season. Let's get into the video. If you're buying your first ever Tesla and you want three months of full self driving as well as a cash discount, click on the link in my description where you'll get three months of full self driving for free as well as a cash discount on your brand new Tesla. Kicking off with our first tip, which also interestingly ties with our second tip, is get winter tires. If you are cruising around in a rear wheel drive base model Tesla, you're going to want to listen up. Teslas have this unique feature called one pedal driving. For the uninitiated first time owner, this means that the car is designed for one pedal operation. No, it doesn't mean that they skipped out on brakes. Teslas still do have brakes and a brake pedal, but mostly rely on regenerative braking using the motors instead of traditional brake pads. But here's the winter challenge. When you let go of that accelerator abruptly, regenerative braking kicks in. So for a rear wheel drive Tesla where the regenerative braking is in the back of the vehicle, your wheels might lock up for a second, causing you to kind of skid as if you pulled on the handbrake. So my advice and tip number one would be get used to the one pedal driving before your first snow. If that's a hurdle and you have a heavy foot, tip number two would be to arm your Tesla with the best winter tires that you can find. Moving on to tip number three. After you've swapped your winter tires, reconsider using the air wheel cap kit on your Tesla. For those not in the know, beneath those factory aero caps <laughs> lies some snazzy aloe wheels, which is this. Sure, Tesla offers cap kits for summer vibes, but come winter, you'll want those aero caps back in place. They're not just for looks, they boost aerodynamics and prevent snow from jamming on your wheels, helping extend your range. After refitting the original aero covers back on, here's a quick tech tip. Head to service on the dashboard and then scroll down and click wheel and tire and then click here and then click on the aero 18 inch V2 and then click update. This ensures that your Tesla updates the range estimates, tire pressure alerts and visually matches those sleek aero covers. Diving into tip number four, whenever you're thinking about charging your Tesla, make a beeline for the superchargers. And here's a pro tip, plan your route to the superchargers early on. Let's say you're not immediately heading to the charger, you've got errands to run and friends to meet. Here's what to do. Click on the supercharger location. You'll see that a notice pops up saying preconditioning battery for fast supercharging. This isn't just tech jargon. It means your car's battery is warming up, prepping to supercharge swiftly. What's the payoff? Well, when you finally pull into a supercharger, your car charges at a faster rate, slashing your wait time from potential hour to down to mere 20 to 30 minutes. Got yourself some errands to run before heading to the supercharger? No problem. Click on these three dots right here, select add stop. And let's say you're heading to Walmart. Select this, and then your Tesla will keep preconditioning the battery even if the supercharger isn't your immediate destination. Just a little bit of science for you, your battery sweet spot needs to be somewhere around 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. As the weather cools, reaching 40 to 60 degrees Celsius takes a tad longer than usual. So if you're stopping by a friend's or running errands, always ensure that the supercharger is the final destination on your map. That way your car keeps the battery nice and toasty. Now to access the high voltage battery's temperature, you'd have to pay a third party app. But I'll show you guys how I got to this page at the end of this video. The optimal temperatures that you need your high voltage battery to have is about 40 to 60 degrees Celsius, which is quite a bit away right now. With the outside temperature being minus four degrees Celsius, I would have to precondition my battery for quite a while. So as the weather gets colder, make sure you navigate to the supercharge way ahead of time. Or you can do this hack that I'm about to show you guys. 
navigating to the supercharger does help so i'll leave this on here when you navigate to the supercharger make sure you select a route that is a highway or a freeway where you can really really speed up with your tesla so we have a long stretch here the speed limit's quite high as well so what i'll do is i'll accelerate really fast and regen as much as i can so i'll go really fast to the speed limit and then regen as much as i can and then again i'll go really fast and then regen as much as i can this is a pretty fast tesla so once i do this acceleration the cars behind me are really far back so whenever i'm doing that regen i'm not really hindering traffic either so i'll accelerate again and then i'll decelerate to a complete stop with the re with the regen braking don't use your friction brakes unless you need to so go all the way use your friction brakes to stop and then just do this a couple of times this little hack and the method that i taught you guys will wear your tires out faster so only use this if you forgot to precondition your battery so we'll go again and then go down go again you'll see that the cars behind me are really far back and then i'll go decelerate as much as i can and then accelerate fast again make sure not to exceed the speed limit by that much and then go all the way back again teslas are quite fast so make sure whenever you're doing this process not to break any laws so i've done the fast acceleration and deceleration with the tesla just a couple of times and only a few minutes of drive so i'll go to the charging here and you can see that the temperature went from 5 degrees celsius to 16 degrees celsius to 31 degrees celsius which is the max temp and it was only a couple of minutes of drive and using a small percentage of my battery life also you don't have to necessarily navigate to the supercharger click on this little dot here add on all your destinations you can do that for sure or you can just do this and if you already know the way yourself you can just follow that even if it's the opposite way of the supercharger it will still keep on preconditioning providing that you have enough battery to do so onward to tip number five always carry some de-icing liquid that you can spray given that the temperatures in my city can plummet to minus 30 to minus 40 degrees celsius trust me this is a lifesaver especially if you frequent car washes for a deeper dive into this i've covered it in another video which i'll link somewhere up here or down in the description so do give it a watch now here's the scoop on why de-icing liquid is a must for a tesla owner your tesla sports frameless windows when you open the door, the window goes down by a little bit. But cue the winter woes. If your windows can't go down, the result, you can't open your door. And it doesn't just end there. Post car wash, those sleek flush handles can also freeze. As water gets trapped inside, it can freeze your handles in place, making it impossible to pop them out. But here's a workaround. After you've been to a car wash, Make sure you wipe your windows down and also dry your handles. After you've done that, apply a lining of de-icing liquid along the edges. This ensures that any residual moisture doesn't freeze up and trap your windows. Think of it as giving your Tesla a little winter armor. Tip number six is all about prepping in advance. Always precondition your Tesla in the morning by setting a departure schedule. Here's why. By the time you're sipping your morning coffee and you're ready to roll, your Tesla will be warmed up and raring to go. It pulls power from the wall to heat up the battery and adjust the cabin temperature, ensuring minimal energy is spent on heating once you're already on the move. In simpler terms, preconditioning while still plugged in means more miles on the road for you without draining the battery for heating and conditioning. Moreover, there's another perk to preconditioning that's truly a winter blessing. When you precondition your Tesla, it's not just a little warm up. It heats your Tesla up from front to back. That means those icy mornings won't be rigorous de-icing sessions. The cabin gets toasty enough that the warmth permeates through the windows and also the door handles. So any sneaky eyes thinking of jamming your windows or freezing your handles, 
that goes away. So by the time you're ready to hit the road, your Tesla is free from any IC constraints, ensuring a smooth, hassle-free start to your day. Tip number seven, before we go ahead and hit that bonus tip at the end, is being prepared for any situation. Always keep your Tesla key cards and charging adapters on hand, and here's why. Now, if you're new to the Tesla family, let me fill you in. You won't get a traditional key fob. Instead, you're handed two sleek looking cards, much like these credit cards. These cards act as backup keys while your primary key is your phone. But here's the winter catch. Frigid temperatures have a knack of for freezing your phones or draining the batteries faster than you'd expect. And if your phone's dead, your car's fancy key feature won't be much use. Hence, having this key card as a backup is essential. And charging adapters are another lifesaver in the colder months. Let's face it, in chilly weather, your Tesla's battery tend to get a tad thirsty. So always have the J1772 adapter to tap into any level two public chargers. But to truly be winter ready, considering getting a CCS or a Chatoma adapter, this means you're not only just limited to Tesla superchargers, you also have access to these non-Tesla fast chargers as well. It's an absolute game changer, especially when temperatures dive and your range takes a hit. Now, if you're religious about plugging in your Tesla every single night, you'll likely start a day with a comfortable 300 to 350 kilometers of range in even minus 30 degrees Celsius weather. But however, for those days when you've forgotten to plug in your Tesla or have an impromptu out of town drive, knowing you can tap into the non-Tesla charges as well offers peace of mind. I've done a lot of road trips and drives in negative weathers as well and I've never had to plug into a non-Tesla chargers. They're not as great as the Tesla chargers and also there's a lot of Tesla chargers now. They're very extensive. There's a Tesla charger every 50 to 100 kilometers in the Trans Canada Highway. You can go coast to coast. You can go as far as Mexico. You can go to Florida. Like it's, it's, it's very, very extensive. But even then, when you have access to this, and if you have a CCS charger, you have access to way, way more than what you see in the screen. The final lifesaver and the bonus tip number one that I promised you guys at the end of this video is, trust me on this, is the nitrogen conversion for your tires. Now, this isn't just a bonus tip for only Tesla owners, but it's out there for all car enthusiasts. So here's why. In cold weather, using regular air to inflate your tires can lead to significant loss in tire pressures or even just significant fluctuations. Swap that air in your tire with premium air or as it's better known as nitrogen and you'll see huge reduction in those fluctuations in pressure. Now some tire shops might charge you for this nitrogen boost but if even if you're not a Costco member their parking lots often have tire inflation stations that provide nitrogen fills. Set your desired tire pressure, inflate with nitrogen, and save yourself the headache of constantly adjusting your tire pressure with every change in weather. Bonus tip number two, and this is pretty important. If you want more range in your Tesla, always, always optimize your climate. Keep it as low as you can go and use the seat heaters to warm yourself up. There's also the steering wheel heater on the newer cars as well as the wiper heaters. On my older Teslas, these winter features weren't available. The car was basically made for California, but especially cars being sent out to Canada right now has these cold weather features. As I promised you guys on how to get to this page at the end of this video, here it is. If you want to access the high voltage battery's temperature and also a range of other things on your Tesla, all you have to do is click on this car icon here and then press and hold on your Model 3. And then once this pops up, just type in service. Once you do that, then click on enable and then you'll come to this page. Once you come to this page, click on high voltage, click on charging, and then on the top right, you will be able to see the battery temperature for your high voltage battery, which is now between 6 and 13 degrees Celsius, while the outside temperature is 4 degrees Celsius. As we wrap up, remember, Tesla ownership during winter doesn't have to be daunting. With the seven tips I've shared today from understanding one pedal driving to always being prepared with the right tools and adapters, 
you're now equipped to face those chilly months head on. Make this winter a seamless experience for both you and your Tesla. And if you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing for more Tesla insights. Stay safe, stay warm, happy driving.